This is so weird to see the super. Oh, wait, I don't have the sound on. Wait a minute. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hey guys, what is good? Welcome back to the show with Speakers Lab. The gang is back. You guys know what it is. And look, man, if you guys are a fan of Supercell games like us, you may have seen this already, but if you didn't, guys right there up at the top, that's a new Supercell game. They just put out a new Supercell game today called Everdale. I haven't tried it. I got no idea what it is. I just read a news article about it though, dude. And it is so weird to see like what I feel as my little world on the internet. And then you see an actual news article about it. Kind of freaked me out, man. <laughs> Supercell's new game or next game is all about cooperation. You know what, man? I'm gonna give it a go. You guys wanna try this thing? All right, guys, so we just got a snack for Melly. This is so weird to see the super. Oh, wait, I don't have the sound on. Wait a minute. Hang on, hang on, hang on. All right, guys, I guess we missed that intro screen. It's cool. We'll, we'll probably see it at some point whenever we uh, load back in. This does not look like a super. What am I looking at? This doesn't look like a super soul game at all. Well, I miss the right colors, you know what I mean? But the graphics seem very different. Doesn't it seem like kind of an earlier build of clash of clans of even heyday i guess i haven't played heyday in so long but i feel like it's crisper maybe what we're going for here is just a different look i don't know okay i'm having a little bit of a like out of body experience right now because this this is a super slow game i've got it on full screen in front of me here and it looks good but it does not look like what i expected is anybody else having that experience right now because i uh, i am really bad okay a new building is available let's try to actually do this thing Okay, okay, what is this building? What does it do? Home, okay, it's, it's our home, it's our home. Oh, Carolina is the builder. Dude, this is just gonna end up being like Animal Crossing, isn't it? I mean, kind of. Animal Crossing doesn't have this. Yeah, like it doesn't make you wait this long, right? As far as I can remember. Yo, guys, this is straight out of Heyday. Seriously, trust me, I played a lot of Heyday with my girlfriend. When you finish a building, it gets the bow on it just like that, done. I'm gonna go with Helena, cause she's got purple hair. Cool. So hey, I told my girlfriend earlier, I was like, hey, Supercell just dropped a new game. It seems like it might be like heyday. And you know what she said to me? One word, no. And it was not because she didn't like heyday. I think it was the opposite. I think it was that we got kind of addicted to heyday. And she was like, no, I can't be doing that right now. <laughs> I need to get work done. Okay, so I'm starting to get this. I believe the study is gonna be kind of like our laboratory, right? If, if you're talking in Clash of Clans terms. So, you know, it's our building that's gonna allow us to upgrade stuff. Whoa. What? What is all this? Wait, so are we gonna have like choices? Like we're gonna have to choose a path of upgrade? Cause I love that. I love having to make choices where there's like a right and a wrong choice. Well, you know what I mean. Some choices are better than others and you gotta make the right one. I do kind of like that. Okay, Helena, again, she's got purple hair. She can do this better than anybody. Cool. Hey guys, up in the top left corner, what's this fish? XP towards the next left. Oh, that's my badge? I get to edit the badge? There's a bunny! Okay, okay, 10 out of 10. I, I'm down with this game now. It looks like Lulu. Kind of. She didn't really have, she had like gray and white and, and not like bright ears like that, but okay, awesome, 10 out of 10. You know what? Not joking when I say this, if there is a lot of bunnies in this game, like in a in a funny way, like if there is a character that can live in my village that is a bunny, I'll probably play this. <laughs> and if I can name him Melly or something. Oh my goodness, there's a bunny. Okay, okay, can I click on him? <gasps> Melly, Melly, you gotta see this. Wait, where where's he going? All right, guys, so I think there's a point in this game where it becomes multiplayer, and I'm so excited for that because that was the only reason I liked Hey, Well, not the only reason I liked Heyday. I liked upgrading my barn. That was really fun for some reason because it was it was the hardest thing to upgrade. But um, once you get multiplayer in this, it's, it's going to be more fun. I know it is. And I think there's something about it that I read that said, like, it's like nine-player multiplayer. Here we go. Oh, this is it, dude. 
research the valley and we are in the multiplayer section. I've been waiting for this for so long. Like, I, I think this is gonna be the fun part of the game and, and we just gotta check it out. Okay, if you go in here, we're gonna be able to put one of our builders on the valley, but it's gonna take so long, dude, unless we get some scrolls. Actually, let me see if I, I got some free gems. Let me see if I can just, cause I'm not gonna buy gems yet. Like, I don't even know if I'm gonna keep playing the game, but I wanna go in here and get some scrolls so we can finish this. What's going on here? Here we go, right here, done. Dude, I think that's exactly as many scrolls as we need. Let's press pause here because we don't need it if, we, if we're doing the scrolls. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, this is going to be it, dude. We're going to the valley. Multiplayer. Here we go. You are ready. What shall we call you, Explorer? Dude, we finally get to make our name. That's right, because we're going into the, the actual game. I am so happy to see this right now. Okay. get a picture of that what is good dude i'm so happy where is it wait 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 i'm so happy <laughs> there's probably nobody there right like is anybody gonna be i mean the game just came out it just came out this is it dude this is it welcome to the valley okay so let's see what he says everyone cannot wait to meet you explore have a look around okay you can also find me at the Great Library. Okay, so how do we make our own clan, as it were? Like, I kind of want to make Unity Elite Valley or whatever. Uh, who's, who's, what are you? Hi. Wow, this game just got so much bigger. Dude, that's a real person. Right? Isn't that, isn't this a real person? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That looks just like our base. Well, actually, it looks way better. How did they know how to organize everything? All my stuff is all spread over the place. Um... Looking good, man. Nice, nice storage. Nice, nice. All right, who else can we find? This is so cool, man. You can just like walk in. Oh, no, not walk in, but you can see other people's. Wait, what are those things? I have no idea. How are you so far ahead of us already? I mean, I the game just came out. This is so weird. I mean, in a good way. So like you, you, you start a valley Maybe you can't start your own. Maybe you just got to end up with random people. I hope I can end up playing with friends, but wow. Yo, can you imagine seeing someone that you knew on the map? I mean, maybe I do know some of these people. I don't know. So guys, anyway, I think the only problem with this is time. It takes so long to do everything. Well, it's like any game, right? I don't even know how to spend gems to speed things up, which in the end is actually a good thing. But the other thing I see, this could be really fun. If I was in a clan or like a valley that was my clan mates and friends, I would love to do some of this stuff, like challenge each other to see how many of these you could get. But when you're in it with a bunch of people you don't know yet, you could know them, you could meet them in the chat and everything. But um, I feel like it's not quite as effective because like, like take clan games and Clash of Clans, for instance, you kind of want to be the first one to the top, right? To be like, yo, it's just bragging rights. You don't really get anything from it, but it's like, yo, I was the first one to the top. And I feel like that could be here as well if we can make our own valley. I got to look around. I, I don't even know how you do that. I mean, there's got to be a way to do that, right? There has to be. How else do valleys exist? Hmm. Well, anyway, guys, that's going to be our first look at this for today. Uh, I'm going to I think I'm going to keep playing it. I think so. I, I think I'm going to show my girlfriend later and see if she likes it, uh, because then we can at least get a two person valley. And then, you know, whoever else wants. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> anyway, we also got to go over to Clash right now. Man, we have uh, we have literally spent almost four hours on this game and I feel like I did nothing. So cool. We love you guys. We'll see you soon <laughs> right here on the one and only Beaker's Lab. Peace.